Hey everybody, what's up? Saigon Cat here, doing Quester's Rest, um, because I haven't gotten a chance to record too much this week. Uh, to, well, the, we'll do first things first. I have some more Dragon Quest stuff. So, first... Oh yeah. This is totally a slime hat. This was part of the promotional stuff that was done for Dragon Quest X, Sentinels of the Starry Sky, on the Nintendo DS. And uh, I think that Nintendo actually did a really good job trying to hype up the game, and it showed in the game's sales, and it showed in the community reaction. Lots of people love Dragon Quest IX, and I think that if Nintendo were to continue uh, with that kind of marketing for a Dragon Quest X or Dragon Quest VII 3DS release, they would probably continue to be successful in doing so. Uh, I also got two new guidebooks straight out of Japan. Um, these are both, I believe, the Shonen Jump books. No, no, these aren't the Shonen Jump books. These are the actual bookstore books. So here we have the guide for Dragon Quest II for the family computer. Uh, it's actually a really nice guide. I don't know why we don't get guides this nice here. There's even a uh, dust cover for it. Some art on the actual book itself. Uh, the previous owner appears to have taken a bunch of notes, which was the norm back in the day for playing RPGs. Even if you had a guide, you would often wind up taking notes. Uh, the fold-out map in the back, this is cool, is still totally present. And it is dual-sided, complete with uh, enemy encounters, telling you what shows up where. Anyhow, it's a really nice map. It's got a bunch of the old artwork in here for the various equipment, the various characters, locations. It's got all the maps for the dungeons. Uh, this is probably actually usable for the NES release of the game since it... Uh, I mean, you're not going to gleam too much in-depth information if you don't speak Japanese, but it's still going to have the maps for the dungeons, which are the really, really big thing that get people hung up in RPGs. The other guide that I have, I'm taking this off because it is hot. It is triple digits here in Colorado again. How much more of this state can catch on fire, you know? And this is the Dragon Quest Three guide for the Super Famicom. Uh, again, like the Dragon Quest Two guide, it has a dust cover on it, which hides away the true cover, which isn't as interesting as the DQ2 guide. So it's just kind of got a shadow of the map on the back of it. This one also has its fold-out map. And much like the uh, Dragon Quest II guide, it has enemy encounters as well. On top of that, and this is really cool, um, they have information for joining the official Dragon Quest fan club in Japan. I miss the Slime Knights. We had kind of a Dragon Quest fan club here that started up around the release of Dragon Quest VIII, and it only lasted through the release of Joker. It was called the Slime Knights. Uh, and most of them are still hanging out on the den. enemy listings as well. It's got all their stats as well as what can be used against them, what can't be used against them, what they use against you, etc. A bunch of the original artwork for the various items. It's a nice guide. And uh, like the Dragon Quest 2 guide that I just showed you, even though it is not in English, you could still use it to get through the various dungeons and such. Plus it essentially just points you on the way. Oh! There's the pyramid! There's that stupid pyramid! So, yeah, that's cool. 
Now oh, here's all the uh, the art for the different classes. So, bam! Uh, that's all I have for the collection right now. I did order some new stuff, so um, in a couple of weeks to a month, depends on how long it takes to get here. Uh, I will have another Quester's Rest with more cool Dragon Quest collectible stuff. Moving on! Somebody pointed out that I've been posting a lot of Joker 2 videos lately. Guilty! Um, Thursday nights, I do my stream, where I've been live streaming Dragon Quest games. So far, it's been Joker 2. Primarily because I'm not done with it yet. When I finish up Joker 2, I'm probably going to go and do Legacy of the Lost, which is um, Arias's fan game. And I've wanted, really wanted to play that for a while now. And this is a good opportunity for me to, you know, not only play it, but also try and hype it up to the rest of the community who might have not heard about it yet. Um, those streams occur Thursdays at 10 p.m. Eastern U.S. time. Um, and I generally tend to stream for like two hours. Occasionally I'll go two and a half, but I aim for two hours. Uh, those are fun, and those are really the only recording time that I'm getting this summer because, well, my kid's not in school. I don't have as much free time to record anymore. Occasionally, on Sunday nights or maybe Wednesdays during the day, depending on how hot it is outside, I may get an opportunity to play something else. May. And um, when that opportunity arises, that is when you'll see more Dragon Quest X and more Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. I almost said Freedom Unite. I'm like, I'm not doing Freedom Unite. I'm long done with that game. Um, so I apologize that those haven't really been coming out recently. I'm going to do more videos on them. I just, you know, dad first, everything else second. Um, I was considering doing a Let's Play also of the new Magic uh, Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012. I'm not sure how much interest there is for that. Let me know. And with that, uh, take care, everybody. Try to stay out of the heat. And happy questing. See you guys later.